Thanks for joining me here at Margaret Lalik's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make Armenian traditional Qapama. Qapama is an Armenian traditional dish. It's typically prepared with stuffing the pumpkin with rice, various nuts, dried fruits, butter, honey, and cinnamon. This dish is prepared at festive occasions and when pumpkins are in season. It has very simple ingredients, one medium-sized pumpkin, one cup of rice, one stick of butter, plums, apricots, nuts, cinnamon, honey, salt, and pepper. I have washed my pumpkin and cut it and cleaned the guts. I'm drizzling some honey and with the help of a brush, I'm going to brush it all around the pumpkin. I individually fried and roasted all my nuts and dried fruits. You have to do this individually because we don't want it to get burned. You can use any kind of or any varieties of nuts, but today I'm using only almonds and pine nuts. I'm using vegetable oil to fry my nuts and dry fruits. Today I'm using plums, apricots, raisins and dates. I have cut all the dry fruits to the uniform size to match with the raisins. I have mixed my seasonings with honey, that way it will be easier to apply with honey and a little bit of oil. And now I'm applying it inside the pumpkin. By the way, I want to mention it to you that I'm using Uncle Ben's rice. I find that it's very delicious with this application and uh, I'm using Uncle Ben's. When you boil the rice, uh, add a little bit of a salt to your taste, so it will have a little bit of salt in it. Season it in a way uh, just like you're making your pilaf. So this is a pilaf and uh, add the salt to your taste. Add enough water to cover the rice. You can add a little more because you're not going to cook it. You're just going to bring it to boil. Now I'm adding four tablespoons of melted butter to my rice. If you're watching your diet and you want to use less butter, it's up to you. But the whole essence of this food and the taste of this food is the butter. I'm mixing the butter and making sure that it's evenly distributed with the rice. Now I'm going to use one half of the rice on the bottom and the other half on the top. Now I'm mixing the nuts and the fruits and I'm going to use half of this on top of the rice. Now you got the idea. It's very simple, very simple ingredients and it doesn't take too long to prepare it. It's simple but yet very delicious and we love this so much and we made this for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year and Armenian Christmas. So every occasion we find we make this dish because we love it. Now I'm adding the second layer. At this point you can add some salt and pepper depending how salty your rice is, uh, but mine is uh, to my taste, so I'm not adding any more salt or pepper to this, but it's up to you. If you want, you can taste your rice, and if you need more, you can add more. I'm sorry if I did not have a chance to uh, share this recipe with you prior to the holidays. I had other recipes that I really wanted to share with you as well, so there was not enough Sundays to release this video, but hopefully, You'll make this for other occasions. I'm sure you'll have a lot of other occasions to celebrate and you will make this for your other festive occasions. I'm pretty much done with stuffing my pumpkin. I'm adding the last layer of um, fruits and nuts. And I'm going to add generous amount of honey on top. And this will go into the oven at 350 degree preheated oven and we'll cook it until it's tender to knife, knife touch. So we have to uh, poke um, the side and if the knife goes in, then it's cooked. 
Now I'm drizzling honey on top. I'm not going to say how much honey because it's all up to your taste. If you like it sweet or if you don't like it sweet, it, it all depends. But this is going to glaze the nuts and the fruits and it's also going to give this delicious taste to the pilaf inside. I put it in a shallow pot and I'm going to cover it with a foil. I don't want the top to be burned because it's going to be in the oven for a long time. I want it to be nice color when I take it out. I don't want any burned marks on it. But if you like it with the marks, you can just leave it open. It's up to you. But I cover it with uh, foil so it won't burn. My pumpkin is out of the oven and it's right on the table. It took mine about hour and 15 minutes. But it all depends on the oven that you're cooking. If uh, the oven uh, is convection oven or if it's a regular oven, it all depends on your oven. All you have to do is just poke on the side. If the knife goes in, then it's cooked. So that's how I taste mine. Uh, now I'm going to cut it and show you what how I present it. This pumpkin de decorated our Thanksgiving dinner. This is our Thanksgiving and we cut it at the Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Um, this is how we present it and we are, our meals love this so much and we have a song about this dish. We call it Heja Rapama. There is a song about it and uh, we made this on Christmas day too, believe it or not, and we enjoyed it so many times. Of course, this is a side dish with any kind of meat. This was our Thanksgiving dinner. We had turkey on the side of this delicious rapama dish. I like to know what you cook on holidays. What do you have on your Christmas and New Year's Eve tables? Please write to me and share your recipes with me. I would love to cook with you. If you like this recipe, please give me some thumbs up share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i release new videos every sunday and this is our rapama from our christmas table my sister cooked this without covering it with the foil and she roasted the outside of it and our pumpkin had some stripes i think i like it with the stripes Next year, I'm going to get this kind of a pumpkin instead of the solid color. I like to know which pumpkin you like more, the one with the stripes or the solid one. I like to hear your comments. For our Christmas dinner, we pair this with salmon and also with uh, ribs. So we paired it with ribs and salmon and with other side dishes. And now you learn Armenian traditional rapama. You know how to make Armenian rapama. I hope you'll make it and I hope you'll enjoy it. Wishing you all a very happy new year. Let this year bring you lots of happiness, joy and health. Let there be the end of this COVID virus and let there be the year of prosperity. Let there be peace on earth. I love you all. And thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And thank you all for spending the time with me in my kitchen. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and wonderful life. Bye-bye.